Mark and I just thought we'd stop on the way to Harrington at a rest stop and just have a quick check around the van. Always a wise thing to do. Good thumbs up. Oh, there's some sheepies out the window. Oh, what? <laughs> 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 Awful big sheep. Uh, let me just, I think my glasses need cleaning. Did you know that Harrington used to be a little sleepy fishing village? It was established in 1853 and it's located at the mouth of the Manning River on the mid-north coast of New South Wales. I've always thought I was <laughs> tall until I came here. Yes, Jeanette's trying to tell me and convince me that she's tall in recent weeks. Well, I've been riding down this break wall for a long time. Everyone's telling me, if you want the brim, got to keep following this break wall, we'll get right down to the end. I don't think we'll fish down the end there tonight. It's quite a way to go. I clamber over you know, probably another three or 400 metres of boulders. I don't really feel like doing that in the dark, but certainly um, we'll fish this town end of the break wall and see how we go on the change of the tide. Wish us luck. About two hours work this afternoon. Nice little flatty. Um, just got him on the change of the tide using um, a prawn, believe it or not. And I got these um, couple of brim legal um, on some worms. It was good, good fun. And we've got some fish, yahoo. <laughs> and we're having um, fresh brim for dinner. And as you can see, a nice size fish. This will feed both Jeanette and I quite easily. Clean him all up. And I'm gonna stuff it now with um, some finely chopped tomato, some shallot spring onions, some corn, chili, and garlic, and cracked pepper. So I've added a bit of um, olive oil to our brew. I'm just going to stuff this into the stomach of the brim. And then I'm going to use a couple of skewers to force it close so that the veggies and the flavours stay in there while it's cooking. And we'll wrap it all up in our foil as well to hold it nice and tight. And uh, I reckon probably about five minutes, six minutes on each side, probably won't need more than that. Because um, we want the flesh to be nice and soft and just falling off the off the skeleton, off the backbone of the brim. What a team, eh? Yeah. This is a, a, a combined effort. It it's is, very isn't good. it? Yeah, it is. We love it. Awesome. We love doing everything together, really, yeah. don't we? <laughs> there are so many little soldier crabs here. could get some nice brim out of this. We could. Good bait. <laughs> you better. It's good bait. <laughs> getting the BT-50 a little bit broken in, we've decided to take it for a drive on Crowdy Head Beach. You can drive this beach, it's beautiful, as you'll see as we're driving along. You do need a beach permit.
going for a little drive. And we've just come across a dead end. We found the Harrington sewerage treatment plant. And, uh, <laughs> don't, don't put that on your <laughs> agenda to yeah, visit. <laughs> yeah. Must do list. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> it's your do not do list. <laughs> oh well. Exploring. You just never know what you're going to find. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> After getting lost today, we've finally arrived at Crowdy Head Lighthouse. This is an active lighthouse. You can walk around it, you can enjoy the absolutely beautiful views. You aren't able to go inside it. But just experiencing this great location at sunset, it's well worth the trip. And it's not too far out of town. Yamo! So, a roast chicken stuffed with um, feta and a whole range of herbs and some baked sweet potato done in the, uh, the broth of the chicken mm. and a nice green salad mm. and some local fresh oysters for a starter so very good and they're so fresh unbelievable straight out of the river yes. and at the mouth can't get mm. any better totally cheers mm. that's really good eating <laughs>